Well, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and I guess my plans for going to the beach have kind of been thwarted by Mother Nature, so let's say we do some thrifting. I'm not gonna lie, this is a very unpopular opinion here in Minnesota, but uh, I love the snow. I do, I really love the snow. I, snowmobilers love the snow, but they love it because of snowmobiling. I just, I just love the way it looks. We have arrived at Half Price Books, and uh, the very first thing you will notice as I just kind of quickly move through the shelves here is they have a ton of old school video game stuff, a little uh, a little on the pricey side. Um, otherwise, I would be snapping up a ton of this stuff, but, uh, but it's pretty wild to see how much stuff is finally starting to pour in. Uh, look at this blob light for the Game Boy Color. It's like a... a blobulous creature that hangs out uh, on your Game Boy. I love it. Little eyes, little light up eye. Super cool. And of course, lots and lots of amiibos. I have to admit, I kind of fell for these too. I have a lot. Uh, like Funko Pops. And speaking of, I haven't bought a Funko Pop in a long time, but if I was gonna get one, this Megavolt is pretty cool. And now here's something I can really wet my beak on. Um, I love big box old PC games like this. You really don't see them a whole lot anymore. Um, they kind of come and go in phases. Uh, this virtual pool, I had this uh, growing up. I loved this game. I thought it was super cool. Um, you know, it was probably the first 3D pool game I ever played. Hands of Fate looked really cool. I don't remember this from back in the day, but... Uh, some kind of point-and-click adventure, and the graphics look great. But I really don't know anything about it. So if you played this as a kid or back in the day, uh, please let me know. Uh, you got some Babylon 5. You've got DOS Boot, which I just love the VGA 256 color sticker on the front. Obviously, it's a very old game. I think it said it was 5-inch floppies, so that's that's quite old. <laughs> Uh, and then Battle of Britain. Love those old uh, flight sims from back in the day. And there was one more big box game hiding in another spot. Look at Museum Madness 299. Obviously, I picked this one up. From the creators of Oregon Trail, uh, which it does say several times on the box. But this just looked right up my alley. I think I would have played this game uh, endlessly as a kid. But super, super neat to see. And finally, we have made it back to the VHS tapes, and I gotta say, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, not a lot of great stuff. A lot of good common tapes, stuff that I already have, but uh, this uh, interesting UFO tape looked like fun. And of course, every once in a while, you find these Mary-Kate and Ashley tapes. Once again, I feel like those kind of come in waves. You start seeing them everywhere. Police Academy 5? Yeah, I grabbed this, adding to the Police Academy collection. Um, you kind of, I mean, once you have one, you just have to have all of them. The one I really want is Six, City Under Siege. I know, like, at that point, Police Academy movies were literal live-action cartoons, but that's always been my favorite. Um, sorry, Two Moon Junction, Boiling Point, you're looking at it. You got this neat Girl Groups tape, which you might not know this about me, but I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, doo-wop girl group kind of music. Love the oldies. And we've got Shattered, starring Tom Berenger and Bob Hoskins. And Bob looks wonderfully frazzled and intellectual on the back cover. Um, I grabbed this one too. Looks super cool. Can't wait to watch it. And as we move over to the music, uh, I did find a few things. Right here you've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 soundtrack. Ten bucks is obviously 
Not the kind of price I'm looking to pay, but uh, man, I, I hated passing this up. I really would have loved to have left with this. But uh, we found some other interesting gems. The Wiz, I think Broadway soundtrack on 8-track. And then this, it's music from Star Wars and Close Encounters. Like it's uh, orchestra performing it from the sounds of it. Uh, very interesting things. And then uh, I think this is maybe the highlight and this is what I did buy today, was the, the Prince Bat Dance single on cassette. And I'm holding it upside down because I'm super smart. There we go. Bat Dance and uh, a different, uh, the Vicky Vale mix. Love it. What? The Dark Man soundtrack on CD. Um, I didn't even know there was a, like, they sold the Dark Man soundtrack. I suppose it makes sense. It's Danny Elfman. But uh, this was so, so cool to see. And then uh, I also found this one. The Xena Warrior Princess soundtrack, which uh, I have not seen in a long time. I'm pretty sure I did buy this back in the day. I probably have it in a drawer somewhere. But, uh, yeah, it turned out to be an interesting day for uh, for soundtracks. Man, I gotta say, these are some good VHS tapes. Normally, Savers is really not the place to come for VHS tapes. Um, I had that huge score from them uh, however, a month or two ago now. Um, but normally, there's not a whole lot to see. But this is a solid selection of movies. A lot of awesome 80s action. Uh, nothing I don't have already. But super great. If someone were to walk into this Savers kind of looking to start some kind of a collection. This is a, a great uh, uh, leaping pad, leapfrog jumping pad, spring pad. What am I trying to say, folks? <laughs> what am I trying to say? You know what I mean. It's a, a, a jump start. I don't know. Moving on to an epic crossover that you never knew you needed, the Mr. Potato Head Super Soaker crossover. I don't know who thought this was a good idea. Are they both owned by the same company and they just figured, what the heck? It is one of the weirdest ideas that I have ever seen. It's just so weird. Anyways, splat. Um, I'm a, a big fan, or I have a ton of nostalgia for the kind of the, the gross-out fad of the 90s. Um, lots of, especially boys' toys, got real gross, and everything was, you know, guts and splats and goop, and uh, I just, I eat this stuff up. I mean, I don't eat the goop, but you know what I'm saying. Um, looking through the puzzles, generally nothing super, super exciting, but... Elf puzzles. Yeah, I threw puzzles on the floor. I didn't even care. Look at this puzzle. He's dressed up like Bruce Springsteen. You got that beautiful boombox. You got that old green screen CRT in the background. It's probably an Apple II. Love it. And not nearly as exciting is this mask puzzle. Do you remember Mask? Uh, I don't know if I ever actually watched the cartoon, but I definitely had friends that had the toys. I have a lot of memories of Mask, even though I, I don't think I ever really sat down and watched an episode of the cartoon. And by God, we've got big box PC games. I tell you, I swear to you, these things, it's so weird how the waves come and go. I haven't seen a big box PC game in so long, and now, you know, we're two for two. Uh, and these are apparently sealed. Caesar's Palace is definitely factory sealed. Roller Coaster Tycoon, it looked like uh, everything was intact. I don't think either one has ever been opened. And rounding out uh, a pretty quiet run to Savers, uh, this VCR Plus Instant Programmer. So you could actually take the numbers from the TV guide and input those, and it would know the date and time and channel to be on to record your show. Pretty wild stuff for back in the day. 
and you know I love ugly phones, and this is a weird one. I don't know what a hotline button is or the store. I, I don't know where this came from. And yes, completing the thrifting trifecta, we stop at Goodwill, and right off the bat we see this absolutely delightful little black and white portable TV. Unfortunately, it has no inputs of any kind, so at this point, without modifying it, it's really of, of no use. It's just neat to look at. Uh, but this is very useful. Um, a very nice VCR. It has its remote included. Um, I gotta say, these uh, Sony VCRs are really top-notch. I have a couple similar models, and they are my workhorses. Dare! At first I thought this was going to be like an anti-drug board game, but it's not. It is just a wacky, uh, dare, uh, what will you do to win kind of a game. Juggle watermelons in a tuxedo? What? I, I can't imagine the game actually demands that you do that. But uh, rounding it out, we do have just a few VHS tapes. Not a whole lot, you know, not terrible stuff, but just pretty typical. Um, but guess what? When it rains, it pours. And yes, we found some more Mary-Kate and Ashley tapes, because that's about as good as it gets uh, at the Goodwill for VHS tapes at the moment. Well, the snow finally stopped. Uh... So that's it for thrifting, but I, uh, the last Goodwill is right here by uh, the old movie theater, so I stopped for some popcorn. Um, I wanted to say for, uh, for anybody out there, if you're nervous about going to the theater, you're not super into all the old movies they're showing, swing by and get a bucket of popcorn, get an icy, you know, spend a little money at the movie theater any way you can, because they're in super real danger right now. So uh, that's it for today. I hope everybody had fun. Thanks for coming along. And uh, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.